Hi, air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Welcome to your Oracle of Love for singles and for couples. Thank you again for joining me. If you'd like a private Oracle of Love reading, um, there are, I do have a list of prices and services below this video. So um, you can contact me via email. Otherwise, stay tuned, air signs, and we'll see what's happening for you singles out there. So air signs, singles. Who is coming in for you single air signs? Okay, four of wands. This person that's coming in potentially could be a fire sign. This is someone that's wanting marriage, thinking about marriage is very traditional in their values. This is someone that wants stability. This is someone that wants the happily ever after. This is someone for, that for some of you, or maybe for a lot of you, you will find that uh, you are meeting the person that you'll be married to in the future. So there's a marriage person coming in or someone with strong marriage potential that's coming in around you. Uh, there's also a celebration happening where you could meet um, uh, someone. So it could be an event, it could be a wedding, it could be an engagement, a function, a work, uh, a work function, after work, drinks a benefit, a gala, a birthday, an anniversary. This is someone that's uh, quite traditional yet uh, very outgoing, likes to celebrate, likes to go out. You'll be very compatible in that sense, likes to be active. Okay, Six of Pentacles, they're very generous. Um, they're very big on equality. The Six of Pentacles could mean they work in finance, they have a kind heart. Um, they could work in rehabilitation, finance, they could partake in charity events. There could be a very grounded energy to them. They could have earth, um, earth and fire in their astrological chart. Uh, they do have sort of like um, that kindness though. So whether they donate their own money, they donate, they do volunteer work. You could very much meet them through volunteer work. You know, they could be a philanthropist. With the Six of Pentacles. And you have the scales here. So this is a karmic energy. This is the universe giving back what you've been uh, putting out there. Okay, Seven of Wands. This is fire energy, defensiveness. This person may want to settle um, and have that happily home, have that commitment and exclusivity a little bit quicker than you. They could be more fast-paced. Uh, they could be going through a turbulent time right now. There could be disapproval around them, competition at work. Um, there could also be a lot of competition for them to pursue you. Um, they could have a jealous streak, a possessive or a, um, a protective um, quality to them. That they don't want to share you. You know, they are dominated by fire. So this is... <clears throat> This is them wanting to be with you. This is them wanting to, you know, have that exclusivity and move fast. Fire moves fast, but fire and air fuel each other. So I think you'd complement each other very well. You'd bounce off each other, so to speak. Um, you know, they could have an, uh, an, a temperament to them. Yes, I think it's more jealousy and competition, though. But I think you'll like this. I think you'll be enticed by some of this jealousy, the fact that they care. Obviously, there's jealousy and then there's unhealthy jealousy, but I think for the most part, you're actually being a little bit excited about, you know, how much they want to, how much they want to, um, you know, have you in their possession. Okay, Six of Swords, something about a trip. Six of Swords speaks about a journey, a trip, a holiday. They could be foreign, um, a foreign influence here, someone that does charity work or attends events or commutes overseas or to different cities states or provinces, regions, districts for work. They could be very well traveled. Um, they could be descended from immigrants or they could migrate. They could be on a working visa. There's a foreign link to them. They could be very uh, worldly, very traveled. I think they're coming out of turbulent waters. So there could be some, there's a reason why they might be possessive. Okay, then they have the magician. They're a big manifester in their lives. They've manifested and created a lot in their lives. I feel like a lot of people are inspired by them here with the magician. 
um, I think when they meet you around the time you meet, they will have a lot of their things together. They'll, you know, they have everything in their repertoire here with the magician. They have a large following, so they inspire in people around them, whether it's their friends, their families, their work associates, um, or in their personal life with the magician. You know, they are a go-getter and they do manifest. There is a bit of deceit here with the magician as well because that's what he does. He deceives us for entertainment. So it's, it could be they're a bit of a prank star. They like to play pranks. Um, they like to joke around. Um, you know, they could be witty, sarcastic with the magician here. They could also work for themselves, have their own business. Um, but a really a go-getter. I think you're going to be very impressed by this by this person and how much they can manifest in their lives. Okay, the High Priestess, possibly pregnancy with this person in the future. Could be children in a wedding for some of you. Or this could be someone that's coming in around you that has had um, a wedding, that has had a child. Um, for some of you, it's a very fated meeting and you definitely will end up with this person. You might start a business with the magician. You know, there's a prophecy that's being fulfilled. There's a higher power that's orchestrated this meeting, this, this um, divinity here with the high priestess. They're very spiritual and or religious or interested in the esoteric arts, either white magic, black magic maybe with the white and black columns. I think you'll be a really good balance for each other, though. You'll complement each other. Black and white is yin and yang, masculine and feminine. Okay, Priestess of Happiness. Very nice, very happy disposition. They'll bring a lot of happiness into your life. Creation of new worlds. Um, they're really open-minded, I think, and uh, not you know not narrow-minded. They're open to religion and spirituality. Happy disposition uh, and optimism. They're light and breezy, and this will definitely attract you... Um, Air signs, creations of new wells, they like dancing, they're flexible, they're into sports, they're active. They like to um, be social, enjoy drinking, going out, priestess of illumination. You'll find out something about this person. There's two cards that indicate this, the high priestess, which reveals a bit reveals something major, and the priestess of illumination. illumination. So it's either they may have previously gotten someone pregnant, um, they have a certain past. There's a reason why they're protective and defensive. It could be about their family, but there's something big that's impacted them directly or their family that will come um, that will come out into the light. It could be a past. It could be past indiscretions, a past job that they've had, something that they've done was that was taboo, that was illegal, um, and also declaring their feelings for you potentially as well. Okay, Priestess of Ambition, December 24th. To January 20th they are ambitious they are ambitious in work they're ambitious to pursue you they're relentless in that way they could be really really persistent um, it could be around that Sagittarius Capricorn signs as well we have Aries you know we sort of have all the elements here okay priestess of contemplation they could be very creative, they could be a writer, they could work with in publications, books, they could be in, um, in education, teaching education, they could be a scholar. The Priestess of Contemplation only writes in her book of hours or her book of life only the things that are worthy. So this, for some of you, this will be either a long-term relationship with possible children and marriage or a relationship that will be for a very, very long time and it will be very important for you. It will be a turning point for you and it will impact a lot in your future. Um, and it will be worthy to go through the lessons that this next relationship will potentially teach you. It's worth it. Okay, the Priestess of Success. So March 18th to April 14th. Sort of like uh, that Pisces Aries energy here. There's liberation. This this. For a lot of you, this relationship will be really, really successful. There's success here. Um, so this person will be successful in their career. This relationship will prove to be very successful. There's a lot of ambition and success. This person has a lot of drive. And I think you're going to admire this about them. 
they're very free spirited, but at the same time, that have that that have that inner inner drive, that that hunger for them to excel better, to constantly you know outdo themselves. That they are a high achiever. You have the Priestess of Solitude. They could have air energy. They could be, um, they do like to withdraw here with solitude and they do need that solitude for themselves. Uh, this is important because you'll have to respect this um, air signs because you are, as much as you are mentally in your head, this person will need time to do this also. Um, <clears throat> so you need to give them that space. This is when they're feeling the most free, you know, with the bird here, when they are, when they do have that solitude. They need that, they have the card of contemplation and the card of solitude, so they need that, you need to give them patience in that aspect, as much as they can be fire. I feel like they're also air, possibly, hence the, um, hence the need for contemplation, hence the need for solitude, spirituality, they could be, you know, into meditation, yoga, something that disconnects them so they might enjoy you know um, just being off the grid and disconnecting completely or you might become a you know a, a couple that likes their solitude and you might find that when you get into this relationship you will leave your friends behind you know sort of distance yourself away from them and just concentrate on your relationship that could be the the solidarity as well let's have a look at uh, Air sign couples and what's coming up for air sign couples. Oracle of love. Air signs, the ones that are coupled up, married, courting, dating, short and long-term relationships. But let's look at the ones that have someone significant around them and are wanting to see what's potentially going on for them. Okay, five of cups, there's melancholy and sadness. There could be hardship coming from a situation because of outside influences with the five of cups. This could also be addictions, drinking addictions for some of you, but this is melancholy and sadness, anxiety, depression. It could be you or your partner going through this sort of energy with the five of, pen, uh, five of cups, sorry. So it's important to be patient around this time. Maybe there's a loss around the family. There could be water energy here. They could be crying over spilt milk. Something has happened or something might affect the relationship, some sort of news or something that may happen. It's about being, you know, being that support system. There's two cups behind this person, so being that support support system through through the good and the bad, hanging in there. For some of you, you might leave a relationship or they might leave you. Yes, that's why there's sadness. For others, there's potential marriage here with the higher offense. Um, this is an important ceremony, an event, could be an anniversary, a marriage, a birthday, a child's birthday, your birthday, um, an event of some kind for this person with the higher offense. For some, there's you're getting engaged. You know, there's two fives here. It could be five weeks, five days, five months. This person is wanting to propose to you. <clears throat> this person is wanting exclusivity with the Hierophant. This person is inspiring you. For others um, that do have uh, partners that are in the public eye um, or working towards that, um, they will be getting that. This may affect their relationship, actually. You may be sp um, spending a lot of time alone because they're concentrating on work because they've been promoted or they've been placed in the public eye, or their work has been published um, and put out to the world, and hence why there's loneliness or sadness. But for others, there's a beautiful um, turning point in the relationship of growth. There's travel coming up for other couples, also decisions between two different people or traveling between two different locations. So that's very exciting. There's things coming up. You've got the world in your hands. This could be relocation. This could be visas. Some of you are reuniting from overseas and will end up living together. Uh, others of you, you will be traveling and doing a beautiful trip together, either eloping or taking a trip, and this will really grow, grow the relationship. A 
Okay, the King of Cups, there's love, beautiful offers, a change and a shift in the emotion and dynamic of the relationship. Holidays and experiences will strengthen the two of you together. King of Cups could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. There's Taurus here. I mean, you have Fire and Cups. So you really have all the elements here. But emotionally, there's, um, there's growth that's happening within this relationship. Someone's thinking about marriage, whether it's you or them, but it, things seem to be getting serious for some. Whilst for others, there's an opportunity that awaits. Single them might await you, and there could be this could be emotionally very rewarding for you, depending on you know your situation and if you're no longer happy where you are. This could be the change you've been hoping for, and it might come and you'll embrace it. Five of Swords is about walking away. This is about defeat. <clears throat> Some of you may have be, may will be or will be or may be with a partner or someone that has an addiction and they're going to overcome this or the, the addiction is going to overcome them because this is defeat, this is walking away. This could indicate rehabilitation maybe. For others, I feel like an addiction may succumb this person. The five of swords is <clears throat> picking up the pieces from what's left behind. Or it's working through struggles, walking away from something that doesn't serve you, from disapproving people, friends, from gossip. But for others, I feel like it's walking away either from an old dynamic of a relationship or walking away from the relationship altogether. But for others of you, you're, you're really overcoming something. There could be a confrontation coming up. And you know, if there is, it's best to let it be. If this person needs solitude and needs to walk away and you need some time apart, it could potentially, and this is where you might have the time to reflect and be in two minds, this could potentially, um, you know, make you much stronger here with the King of Cups. Then you have the Fool card. There's foolish behavior going on for some of you in your relationships. This could also indicate there's a fresh new start. Some of you are blissfully unaware of what's happening around you. Could be addictions, could be gambling, could be spending finances. Um, so if someone's being played the fool, or with the full card, it's a beautiful new beginning. It's embracing what the universe is offering, and whether this means walking away and finding something new, there's fresh new starts for some of you that look pretty promising because you're holding the world in your hands here. Could be with a foreign partner, could be with someone that, um, you know, you've met on a trip or you meet on a holiday. But this could also indicate taking a journey with this special person in your life, definitely. Okay, you have the Priestess of Luxury. Very, very nice. So the Priestess of Luxury, the dates that resonate with her, this are September 2nd to September 29th. <clears throat> so during that time of virgo on that sort of on that cusp of virgo and libra something significant can happen in this relationship there's something luxurious it could be um you know this luxurious getaway a surprise gift um luxurious um environments venues um trips or being in that um feeling really luxurious feeling really spoiled which is very nice i think they'll do something nice for you around then um you have the priestess of happiness very very nice very positive there is happiness, definitely. Fulfillment. Um, happiness because of an engagement, because of moving up, because of a beautiful event, um, because of being spoiled. So there is a very good period coming up um, for you. You have the Priestess of Protection as well. So this person could um, be very, very protective, your 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 partner. There's protection, protection of the relationship, of you know, having their guard up. This is also protection over you, defending you in something. Protecting you, you know, from being the fool elsewhere or, you know, from being walked away from. They're protecting you by walking away. They're protecting you by not walking away. I think there's a nurturing, a real nurturing side to this person that's going to come out. Or someone is definitely protecting you for those that have to walk away from this because it's no longer serving you. So there's protection from a, a higher power here. Okay, faith. Beautiful. The priestess of faith. It's all about having faith in this relationship, having faith that things are working out for the better, that things are happening as they need to. Faith is the priestess that creates new worlds, new soul. It almost looks like a solar system around her. So there's things, divine energy that is circulating around her and it's having the faith 
it's having the faith to press forward and know that you can grow out of struggle and hardship or it's having the faith that something better embracing what the universe is going to offer you because there's potentially something better that's out there okay priestess of intellect august 5th so on that um to september 1st and so on that leo um on that leo uh cusp or Leo Virgo, um, something there's going to be a very important conversation that come, might come up between the two of you, whether it's about property, whether it's about where this um, is going. You, you're going to find out more about this person. I think you're going to see a different side of them or you're going to uncover something that you hadn't previously thought. And I think it's going to be a good surprise. You're really going to gain more information and more insight into where this relationship is going. Or you're going to learn something more about this person, about their past, about what it is that they want for the future. It could be something like this. Okay, Priestess of Energy. Very nice. There's beautiful energy around. Um, this shows movement and stagnant, um, movement, sorry, coming out of stagnancy because the Priestess of Energy gives us a revamp. It injects us with more energy, a new perspective, a new perception. It could be this holiday that you might take together that changes your view on this person or where this relationship is going, but the, definitely the tides are turning. So whether it's for the good for some of you, whether it's for, you know, sometimes the worse, um, but out of this you need to remain faithful that something good is coming and you need to surrender to the universe. But um, I hope you have enjoyed that air signs. Please feel free to contact me if you were after a private reading. Otherwise, all the best and hopefully chat soon. Thanks again.